It's that time. Get your pens ready. Uh, time for the predictions from our experts. The first match this weekend, we'll see the Crusaders against the Waratahs, who have been impressive in the last few weeks. Owen. Well, the Crusaders. Just that last week. Come, dude. <laughs> Crusaders. 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 But, Crusaders. Okay. Crusaders. Yeah. Uh, Brummies against Hurricanes is the second one of the weekend, Nas. Brummies. Uh, Brummies at home, okay. Yeah. And then the Highlanders have had a horror, horror season against the Blues. 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 Yeah, Blues. Blues, both Blues in, a, in, a, in agreement in the studio. And then the next one will be the Reds against the Rebels. It's a derby. Still think the Reds should be. Reds should win Upset it. of the weekend, Rebels. You think so? Yeah. That's a big call. Remember that. And uh, second last match of the weekend, Stormers against the Southern Kings in Cape Town. And it will be wet. Stormers. How much? Uh, about 12, 15. 12, 15? Oh. Yeah. Owen? I'll say a bit less than that. Uh, Stormers by not about six points. If the conditions are going to be there, I don't think the, the, the ball's going to get much air. The guys are going, to, are going to kick the ball away, plenty of... Nah, I think by six points. Kings will come out fighting. Yeah, uh, forward-dominated yeah. game, yeah. Nas. Um, a lot of kicking probably involved for the points. You don't think the Kings could upset the Apple Cup? They, they'll be there, and uh, yeah. they're going to make it tough, but somewhere along the line, the Stormers will Stormers grind it out. Stormers should come through. They don't uh, come through. They'll yeah, grind well. it out. Okay, the final match of the weekend is um, at Free State Stadium. It's the Toyota Cheetahs against the Vodacom Bulls. Top of the table clash in the South African um, Conference. Nice. Uh, you know, Cheetahs, I, Bulls. I might have had another answer before last Saturday. <laughs> but uh, seeing that, that the Bulls squeezed the living daylights out of the Sharks. And they got through that game. Mm. It was more character builder yeah. than anything else. And I still think that... Um, uh, Cheetahs is by far the team to beat at the moment, but I think the Bulls are going to beat them. Was it a good Sharks performance, Owen? Was it a, yeah, last week? And was it? Uh, does, does it have a bearing? Yeah, it does. I think for them, they talk of processes. I think they were, they were exceptionally good. Uh, good character building. I think that they're up for this game. But for me, this particular game, I'll go with my heart. I said I'm supporting the Cheetahs. They are my spun. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm calling for an away when Cheetahs all the way. Does Not that do for SA Rugby? Okay. But, but yeah, I've got to stick to my gun. But you're not supporting Samoa. Who? See, I'm still going for the Lions. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we're not playing Super Rugby. <laughs> when the carry cap starts, <laughs> then it's back. That's back to where I belong. Um, the the Cheetahs, Nas, uh, they've got a chance really to close that gap on the Bulls. For sure. Uh, do you and think it'll? Hey, it's not going to be on? easy. Mm. That's one thing. The the other thing is they can score tries from anywhere. Yeah, we know that. But at the end, it's all going to come down to pressure. And I still think in the long run, in the long run, the Bulls can handle the pressure a little bit better than anybody else at the moment. Yeah, Nas has got a spot on. They've got the experience. The Cheetahs have done well. They make the playoffs. It's more than enough. Next year, they can try to fight for a home semi. At the moment, just get into the playoffs, I think. But I mean, they, they can also win on Saturday. I'm yeah, just yeah. saying, if you really get to the pressure situation, I would still think the Bulls are going to handle it better.